students i'm your komali ma'am in this session i'm going to teach you all about ammonia and ammonia derivatives reactions with carbonyl compounds this topic is from aldehydes ketones and carboxylic chapter from class 12 chemistry let's begin the session you know carbonyl compounds what do you mean by carbonyl compounds the compounds which are having c double bond o group okay so this c double bond o group compounds reacts with ammonia or ammonia derivatives what do you mean by ammonia nh3 so nh3 or ammonia derivative means remove one hydrogen and you just put one z group there this is ammonia derivative then how, what will be the product what are the conditions and what are the different types of ammonia derivatives let's see in today's session and what is the condition we suppose here which reagent we have to use dilute hcl what is the ph 425 why di only dilute hcl we should use why not constant hcl or why not uh, a basic medium everything step by step i will teach you right first let us see ammonia very easy very easy topic no need to feel difficulty ammonia nh3 ammonia is nh3 ammonia derivatives means remove one hydrogen from ammonia and keep one group remove one hydrogen from ammonia and put one group there which group i should keep ma'am you can keep the groups like you can put this is oh z place or you can keep z place another nh2 or you can keep z place here same hydrogen this molecule i'm taking i'm going to replace one hydrogen and i'm keeping ph this structure if you write like this this same structure which we got top if you write like this it will be like this correct same thing here i am writing in this second position 1no2 group fourth position 1no2 group i am placing to the same structure next one more structure i am going to write nh2 c double bond o nh2 nh2 nh nh2 or you can start writing reverse also nh2 nh because you are you are starting with nh2 nh c double bond o nh2 now these are the different derivatives of ammonia their names are this is hydroxylamine repeat hydroxylamine if you want you can write the notes otherwise i'll give the notes in the description just download the notes and keep with you later you can practice phenyl hydrogen phenyl hydrogen phenyl sorry this is hydrogen only hydrogen okay only hydrogen 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 see the next structure phenyl hydrogen why it is phenyl hydrogen students tell me because we are we have kept here phenyl group so it is phenyl hydrogen this is second position fourth position two nitro groups we have placed so 2 comma 4 di nitro phenyl hydrogen what is its name 2 comma 4 di nitro phenyl hydrogen the, its name is semi carboxide semi carboxide its name these are the few derivatives of ammonia what are all these derivatives derivatives of ammonia ammonia these are derivatives of ammonia what you are going to learn is how all these will react with the carbonyl compounds okay how all this will react with the car see this is the carbonyl compound right you no need to learn any mechanism but here i'll guide you mechanism also just have a look but simply without any mechanism how you can remove is ammonia means how many hydrogens it will be having students three hydrogens just remove two hydrogens and c double bond keep double bond there over that's it see again i am going to take ammonia derivative for example ammonia derivative okay now remove this two hydrogens and this oxygen just to put here this a c double bond nz that's it 
like this all the reactions z plus oh you can put z plus nh2 you can put whatever the derivatives list i have given you can do that okay this reaction this reaction takes place in the presence of dilute hcl and the ph needed for this reaction is 4 to 5 let us see why dilute hcl what are the conditions before going to learn that let's see the mechanism okay you have to understand just understand the mechanism it's not mandatory for you to learn just understand okay mechanism 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 oh mechanism come on carbonyl compounds carbonyl compounds when you do reaction in acidic medium what happens is first this lone pair it donates to the H plus ions and protonation takes place okay protonation means this donated lone pair and after donating oxygen gets a positive charge oxygen is more electronegative atom presence of positive charge on oxygen is not stable so it will pull those two electrons towards itself it pulls the electrons towards itself so when it is pulling the two electrons oxygen gets negative charge oxygen already having positive positive negative becomes neutral so there will be no charge on oxygen and then carbon here it is donated electrons so it is it has given so carbon gets a positive charge okay next step i'm writing coh this is the right okay i can continue there maybe it is not visible for you so i'm writing here what now ammonia derivative let's see ammonia derivative ammonia is having a lone pair ammonia is having lone pair so it is a nucleophile what is that it is a nucleophile ammonia donates that lone pair to this carbocation i mean carbon with a positive charge and it forms a structure like this see students this is oh this is OH and ammonia derivative with a positive charge and then presence of positive charge on more electronegative atom like ammonia is not stable so that H plus it will lose and it forms C N H and here Z it loss of H plus happens here and we will be getting OH now this oxygen is OH group is there right this OH group it sees this situation okay here H plus is there and immediately it donates its lone pair to this H plus once it donates its lone pair to the H plus then C N H Z and OH2 plus why plus came here because it donated it lone pair to the high H plus and finally form H2O plus and then this hydrogen is there no this hydrogen see how I am going to write just simply I am going to write like this I to show you these two electrons shifts here and these two electrons this H2O takes and goes out H2O takes that H2O goes out and H plus ion comes back and we will be getting C double bond N Z this is the mechanism but simply you no need to do all this mechanism what is the simple trick my dear students tell me remove two hydrogens from ammonia remove one oxygen from the carbonyl compound just write put a double bond okay now let's mechanism is done now let's see the examples example number one take hydroxylamine its name is hydroxylamine remove one oxygen come on write the fatafat oxygen and two hydrogens we will be getting double bond NOH this is called oxyme oxyme okay before it is before hydroxyl amine now hydroxyl amine is forming oxyme next one this is hydrazine as i wrote all the names i wrote before right that's why i'm not writing c double bond n nh2 that's it what is its name hi this is hydrazine this is hydrazone hydrazone repeat repeat hydrazone see the next one this is phenyl hydrazine so remove this h2 carbonyl carbon oxygen from here hydrogens that's it its name is 
its name is phenyl hydrogen what is its name phenyl phenyl hydrogen zone that is zin this is zone phenyl hydrazine this is hydrogen okay 2 4 dnp what do you have to do will you try remove this oxygen remove two hydrogens then we will be getting c double bond n and here same structure as it is here uh, n nh one nh is missed here one nh is missed one nh is missed here <coughs> Your NH is missed, then we'll be getting NO2. What is its name? Derivative of phenyl. This its name is 2,4 DNP, 2,4 dinitrophenylhydrazine. Whatever format this is called as derivative of 2,4 DNP, we can say or phenyl hydrazone. Derivative of phenyl hydrazine. Derivative of derivative of phenyl derivative of 2 4 dnp simply we can say 2 4 dnp 2 4 dnp means 2 comma 4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine or we can say 2 comma 4 dinitrophenyl hydrazone the product we call it as 2 4 dnp a derivative next one is this is semi carboxide then remove this oxygen and two hydrogens from here you will be getting c double bond n n h c double bond o n h 2 what is it students tell me this is called derivative of semi carboxide or semi carboxone semi carboxone easy got a clarity any difficulty no difficulty just c double bond o you are removing c oxygen and two hydrogens you are removing that's it no let us see few very interesting questions about this why we have taken only weak why we have taken weak acidic medium like dilute hcl what is the necessary you see here c double bond o if you take h plus medium then protonation happens and we will be getting you know like this after that presence of positive charge on oxygen is not stable it pulls the two electrons towards oxygen and then carbon gets a positive charge because carbon it, it is accepting so it gets negative negative positive gets neutral and carbon is donating so carbon gets a positive charge this is we want like this one carbon with a positive charge then only nucleophile can come and attack easily okay like ammonia have a lone pair ammonia or ammonia derivatives comes and attack but why not con concentrated why not strong acidic medium why only dilute hcl we are taking why not uh, uh, concentrated hcl or any other acidic mediums because if in acidic may strong acidic medium also protonation happens but when we take a same thing happens in strong acidic medium also but if you take a strong acidic medium then what happens is that ammonia derivative is there right or ammonia derivative this lone pair that will react with this acidic medium which we are taking you know strong then it will form nh3 plus and z like this so this nh3 plus z what happens is this nucleophile is getting wasted here nucleophile should not react with the medium nucleophile should go and attack this carbon with a positive charge that is the reason we should not take strong medium got it see the next question why not basic medium why not basic medium if you take basic medium then we already have a we already have a ammonia derivative like this to go and attack this is a nucleophile if you take one more basic medium then there is a competition between these two which one will go and attack so again rate of reaction decreases that is the reason we should not take basic medium if you take basic medium this is the, this is what will happen another question rate of reaction decreases rate decreases okay this is our semi carboxide right nh2 nh c double bond o whatever semi carboxide is there there are two nitrogens at a terminal this is one nitrogen that is another nitrogen see this is this is one nitrogen this is another nitrogen 
two nitrogens. From which nitrogen you have to remove two hydrogens? Most important question. See, this is NH2 C double bond O, NH2 NH NH2. If you observe, this lone pair is in lone pair sigma pi bond. It is one of the condition for resonance. So, this lone pair shifts here, this pi bond shifts here. So, what will happen here? Lone pair is coming here, this pi bond is shifting here, which means that this lone pair is not free to involve in a reaction. This, uh, this nitrogen is not free. It is already forming a bond with this carbon and shifting of electron. It is in a resonance. That is the reason you should not remove this first nitrogen because these hydrogens is it can't give because it's already forming bond with this carbon it, it cannot form one more bond extra so the two or two more bonds extra or it, it can't involve in any other bonding but this nitrogen is free because this this nh2 nhc double bond it is far its electrons are not in a resonance so you this nh2 these two hydrogens will undergo and we will get the product okay why what is the reason this lone pair are involving in lone pairs are involving in resonance notes is there in description you can download uh, lone pairs are involving in resonance okay students clear clear very good very good now some questions for you what you should do is try the products now come on try the product what will happen orally you say at least this oxygen what you should remove these two hydrogens can you tell me what will happen this is cyclopentanone and you know hydroxylamine. This is your product. This is your oxime. Cyclopentanone derivative will form. Oxymes will form. Oxymes. See the next one. This is oxygen and this is two hydrogens. So what you will be getting? Cyclohexanone. That is before is pentanone. This is hexanone. Directly right, this is called as a derivative of cyclopentanone 2,4 DNP. NO2 here, here NO2, 2,4 DNP, only one NO2, okay? Only one NO2. Or you, you can write 2,4,6 trinitrophenyl hydrogen, 2,4,6 if three NO2 groups are there, okay? Next one, in this there are two, ni two nitrogens, this is nitrogen 1, this is nitrogen 2. Can you tell me which nitrogen, which hydrogen goes out? This is oxygen and I told you that the lone, the nitrogen which is connected edges into the carbonyl group involves in a resonance like this. That's why it don't, in, it don't uh, react, the other side will react so. Same reaction RCH double bond CH CHO. You write this this side, or you you are removing right this oxygen. Simply you remove this oxygen from where you are removing from here you are removing right. So put a double bond N and write enter structure N NH C double bond O NH2. What you have done here? Removed oxygen and these two hydrogens because carbonyl group next to NH2 is not free. It is involving in a resonance. So, these hydrogens will undergo reaction. In such a way, we will be getting semi-carbogen derivatives. Semi-carbogen derivatives. Next one. Here, I am taking alkylamine. What I am taking? Students tell me. Alkylamine I am taking. Then what we will be getting? This is, this is C double bond O here, C double bond O, C double bond O, then this two hydrogens and this oxygen goes out. I am going to write like this, C double bond O, CH3 and here NH2, some alkyl group like CH2, CH3. Then can you tell me the product what we will be getting? This oxygen and two hydrogens goes out, we will be getting... C double bond N CH2 CH3. Here what group is there? CH3 is there. This is our product. Okay. It's, it is called shifts, shifts base. Shifts base. When we call it as a shifts base, here see 
NH2, some alkyl group we are taking like ECH2, CH3, CH2. Then we call it as Schiff's base. Now, now what you do is take the printout of this notes from the description. Just practice all reactions in one time. Just within 3-4 minutes itself you will be able to do it or maximum 5-6 minutes. Okay, if you like this video, just uh, hit on like and first time if you are watching Komali Ma'am channel, please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you again in next video with awesome topics. If you have any doubts in any particular topic, please WhatsApp or please, uh, I'm sorry, please comment in uh, description. I'll take it. If you want to learn complete syllabus of class 11 or class 12 chemistry for your NEET or mains preparation then whatsapp to my number your 10 mark sheet and photocopy you will get further details and you can join in my class and you can improve your chemistry score so much thank you so much for watching this video bye all of you see you again in next video have a nice day